Oh, hey Squeaks. I'm sorry I'm a little late this morning. I got sidetracked running some errands. <sighs> Thanks for understanding. Oh, what's the bucket? It's our compost bucket. Every week I put all the food scraps from the fort in here. Things like apple cores, stale bread crust, and corn cobs that we aren't gonna eat. Then I put the bucket outside and our friends from Soil Cycle stop by and collect it all to turn into compost. Compost is a special mixture of things like food scraps, dead leaves, and more. And you can mix it into your soil to help your plants grow big and healthy. I like using it in the fort's greenhouse. Good point, Squeaks. You can't just sprinkle your food scraps on your plants and call it a day. Making compost is a whole process. Although, actually, I don't think I've ever seen someone do it. Hmm. Maybe we could watch a video or... Oh, that's a great idea, Squeaks. Let's take a field trip. We can go visit our friends at Soil Cycle and see how they make compost. Why don't you come with us? Let's go. Hey everyone, Mr. Brown here. So happy to see you. Today I want you to meet my friend, Caitlin. She works at Soil Cycle and she's gonna tell us more about how compost is made. Hey, Mr. Brown, it's so nice to have you here. Yeah, nice to be here. What's going on here? Can you tell us more about what you do, more about what Soil Cycle is all about? Yeah, definitely. Soil Cycle picks up food scraps from our community and we do that by bicycle and we bring them here and we turn them back into soil that we plant things in and give to the community so they can grow gardens. You might've seen the garden on your way in. That's where a lot of our compost goes and we can teach people about the full cycle of how food scraps can actually become food again. Wow. So can you tell me how like my food scraps be become compost? Like how does that process work? Yeah. So food waste comes here on a bicycle and we take it, the food that you might not want to eat, and we chop it up into little pieces and add leaves and shredded paper and other carbon rich things and let it cook down. And while that process is happening, a bunch of little critters called decomposers help in that process. And once it's done, we sift it and bag it and that compost can be used in a garden. So what kind of critters? Can you give some examples that help with decomposition? So there's some decomposers and critters you can see, like worms and mushrooms, but then there's a whole world of other critters you can't see, those microorganisms and bacteria that help break down the soil. So you might notice steam coming out of a compost pile, and that's not because the sun heated it up. It's because there's microorganisms actually working really hard and breaking down organic material, and that heats it up. Compost pile can get to be 150, 170 degrees just because of those microorganisms. On my way in, I noticed that there were people moving um, compost from one bin to another. Can you tell me what they were doing? So there's a lot of really important things that compost needs and really simple things like water and air. And to make sure there's enough air flowing through a compost pile, you need to turn it. So you actually move it from one place to another. And so they were actually moving it to make sure the compost had air. And so those microorganisms can stay alive and keep that heat process going. Composting can take anywhere from two months to a year. And that depends on the environment that you're making your compost in. If you turn it more often, it has really good conditions and bacteria, your compost will be finished sooner. So Squeaks had a question. Why don't we just throw things away? Just put them in the trash. Remember when I said compost needs important things like air and water to survive? Well, when you throw something like your food scraps in the trash, they get taken away to a landfill. The stuff gets put in the ground and then buried. So you're not getting air and water to it. And so it can't break down. But then it also can't go back to Mother Earth and it can't go in your garden and be a valuable resource. This is all so fascinating. Can you tell me what uh, happens next? What, what do you do 
with the compost. We really love having finished compost because we can put it on our garden to show people how well it helps food grow, but we also sell it and give it back to the community and do a lot of education around sustainability and farming and gardening so people can complete that cycle in their own backyard. So for our, our viewers, for our kids, like why is composting important? Like what, what are the, the benefits? One of the main reasons is it protects our earth. If you're like me, I care a lot about nature and making sure our earth is happy and taken care of. And if you think about the earth's skin, the surface of, of earth, that's the soil. And so by building soil and protecting it, you're really protecting the skin of Mother Earth. This has been so cool. Thank you so much for, for teaching us about compost. Caitlin, can you give one final thought to the kids that are watching right now? So if you learned a little bit about composting and you're excited to learn more, there's places like Soil Cycle all over the world, all over the country, where you can learn more about composting and gardening. Thanks for joining us, everyone. If you want to keep learning more with me, Squeaks, Jesse, and the rest of our friends at the fort, you can hit the subscribe button. And for now, we'll see you next time.